Hey everybody! Welcome back to the shop for another action pack. Ten minutes of bomber building action. Oh yeah. Alright. Now I gotta find the one that fits here without smashing my toes. Alright. Alright. Look like so. Oh, now you hold this. Right. I just hold it, everything just dry. Bang. Beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm going to put this one up. Yeah, believe it or not, most of these local boys around town have never seen the bomber. <laughs> so, we're going to take it out there to Guthrie, Oklahoma tomorrow. And show them old boys they ain't the only ones that can build. <laughs> nah, they're, they're a good bunch of people out there. Pretty good builders. Let's see some new stuff. Alright. I just gotta hook up these little air cylinders. Timer people, you got to set the Volvo timer. So this video might come to an abrupt end. Man, you guys are getting heavy. Lifting you over that big old <laughs> big old bomber that takes up my whole dang garage. Whose idea was this anyway, Phil? That's what I want to know. How do I get into this? <laughs> what did I ever do to deserve this? I'm done with this thing, people. It's going to be a masterpiece. It will be a masterpiece. One of a kind. You know, no matter where you go. Well, I take that back. There is an old boy in Washington State building that smaller B1. He's almost done, people. I think it is done. It's, uh, 
It's like 12 scale. He's got four turbines in it. If you look on RC Universe under this tread there, he's got some pictures of it. It's not nearly a scale, but it's for not dang airplane. <laughs> You know what I mean? He's actually he's got ailerons on his wings, and it, it uh, only weighs like 75 pounds. I think what he said like 78. He said he was barely over the limit, but he did a pretty good job. But he just uh, cut foam and sheeted it and glassed it. It's just a uh, not a mold, and he didn't mold it. Just a one of a kind. He's got Robart landing gear, but you know, and uh, don't look bad. That's about the only place I'll ever run into anything close to this, I believe. And no be ones out there. And no one will drop 16 bombs at a cruise missile. We got landing gear like that. Whew. You're only going to find that in one place. Where's that one place at? Right here in the shop. Now that did an awesome job on the gear. Just awesome. I'm going to trim my... Fiberglass a little bit, just barely touching there. There, the hitting this wheel well, too. But there we go, people. Now I'm just going to get clean this, get this cleaned up and get her loaded on the trailer tonight about 6 in the morning. Me and Mom was taking off. And Be a Oki from Muskogee. <laughs> no. Whoa, Oklahoma boys. Pretty good guys. They all come to our jumbo seat. So, that Chisholm Trail Club will all go out there for their jumbo. And here's going to be a thing over here for them lunch. But they're all going so. None of them has really even seen the bomber either. I haven't taken this out to any clubs and shown them or anything, so it's be not a surprise for a lot of them old boys. I don't think they know I'm coming. They'll sure find out though when they see this B1 pull up on the jet ski trailer. <laughs> How ghetto is that, man? That is ghetto. Oh, a big old plate like this on jet ski trailer. <laughs> oh, oh well, I don't care. They can point their fingers and laugh. But that's alright. That's alright. We'll let them sit there and giggle. No, actually, I get some. A lot of people pass me down the highway and got out their cell phones taking pictures of it. <laughs> the digital cameras. I see them all. They come up on it to see what it is. Then they slow down and get beside it. And when they pass me, they're taking pictures. A lot of them waving and just amazed to see a jet. B1 bomber cruising down the highway on a jet ski trailer. <laughs> oh, you guys are nuts, man. You guys are nuts. I can't believe you got me doing this, but this is all for you, Eddie. Josh in Singapore, Bill in Canada, Bill my navigator. We need to get, we all need to chip in and get Bill one of them GPS's. He's always getting me lost in the hood. <laughs> but no way that paper map. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Same Bob time, same Bob station, and it will be broadcasted in Philovision. It was also a drama free flying field. <laughs>